Let's graph the function f of x equals the negative of the absolute value of x minus 2. Okay, so I'm just going to plot this by shifting. We see the parent function is y equal root x. We are going to shift. Now if you notice, we replaced x with x minus 2. So that's a shift left or right. Insiders lie, so it's always backwards. Minus 2 looks like it's left, but it's going to be right two units. The way I remember it is I'd say, what do I plug in here to get zero? Plug in a positive two. And then this negative sign here means, so that's this picture. Um, that's y equal absolute x minus two. And then I'm also going to reflect about the x-axis. That's going to give me that negative in the front. That means all of the y values, the switch signs. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I guess, is graph the original. I'm going to graph y equal um, absolute x. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So I'll make everything non-negative. So absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. Absolute value of negative 1 is 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so let's just start here. Let's start with black. So negative 2, positive 2, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, and 2, 2. There is my original in the black. Absolute x. Okay. Now I'm going to take every point and I'm going to shift it right two units. We're going to do this in two pieces. Shift it right two. So I guess I'll do this one in red. So right two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now I'll start with these. One, two. One, two. Oops, I got a little bit bigger. So the red one is y equal absolute x minus 2. The black one was y equal absolute x. Now I'm going to reflect. That means I'm going to take every y value and change the sign. So I see this y value is y equals 0, so it's still going to be y equals 0. This y value here is y equal positive 2, so I'm going to negate it. I'm going to make that negative 2. This is y equal positive 1. I'm going to make that negative 1. Positive 1 negative 1. Positive 2. Oops, I lost a little bit. Negative 2. So there's the blue one is my new picture. Okay. Ooh, that's off a little bit. It's harder than you think to draw with this thing. One. Okay, and the blue one is y equal negative absolute value of x minus 2. Okay, let's look at the blue one. y equal negative absolute value of x minus 2. What is the domain and what is the range? Just by looking at the picture. For domain, it looks like I can plug in every possible x value. And then we look here. If there's no x is in the denominator, don't have to worry about that. No even roots, don't have to worry about that. And there's no logs. So it looks like domain is all real numbers, which we can also write as negative infinity to infinity. The range, what y values will this picture attain? Looking at my picture, looks like I will get y equals zero, and then y values smaller than that. So y is less than or equal to zero. I can also write this as, oops, negative infinity to zero with the parentheses around negative infinity because it's not a number and a bracket around zero.